When I looked at the data and statistics, it was surprising that they had no higher amounts of skin cancer in the African population today than they had 50 years ago. Well, how about the South American indigenous tribes that are in the sun all day long near the equator? Guess what? Statistics were the same. No higher incidence of skin cancer. Well then why in whitey world are we getting all of this cancer? Because in whitey world we've done something interesting ever since the Second World War. In whitey world we poured astronomically high amounts of animal fat down our throat because we wanted to be like the rich folks before the Second World War. In that animal fat we have heavy metals, we have chemicals, pesticides, the list goes on and on and on. So now on top of the animal fat that made us fat and clog our bodies, our arteries, our veins, our organ systems, they are also in that fat containing heavy metals, chemicals, and deadly poisons. Now, when I was at school a long time ago, when I first started to study biology, what they told me, interesting enough, was that the number one way to strengthen and boost my immune system was the sun. They were right. And so when I go outside and I have animal fat and heavy metals and chemicals and poisons in my body and my immune system is being boosted, it pushes it out, pushes it out, and where does it come out? On my skin. And then the UV rays from the sun hit my skin and act like a frying pan. Voila, skin cancer. Why the Africans don't have it and the indigenous Indian tribes don't have it in South America is they eat pretty much like they did hundreds and hundreds of years ago. We are an experimental diet in the West. And now we say put something on it called a cream that has a cancer in it called PABA. What are you talking about? If I take that cream and slap it on my body and it has a UV protection of 30 or 40 or 60 or 90 or 8 million, is it really going to help me? It actually increases your chances in almost all cases of getting skin cancer. It actually magnifies and multiplies the potential for cancer. Because all of this, even the many of the natural ones, are not really natural. They're made out of oils and petrochemicals. Now the best thing to do is to understand we all need the sun because it does boost and strengthen your immune system. The best thing to do in sunny times of the year and warm times of the year to get out before nine o'clock in the morning and two hours before sunset. So if the sun goes down at eight o'clock in the summer, then at six o'clock you can go out 6.30, 7 o'clock. Make sure that if you do go and use a sunscreen because you're very fair and you're going out at other times of the day because maybe you're working outside, find a very natural one because there are some that are legitimate creams without deadly chemicals in it. In our magazine, Heal Our World, in volume 33, number two, we have an article by the two leading experts in the world chemist researchers that talk about the perils of sunscreen.